thank you all for, for coming. Um, you all have just gotten the press release, so let me, let me just kind of run through the main points. Um, uh, we are, we're here as, as, as the, the initial round of uh, uh, conducting the seventh review. Um, we, we believe the macro situation is, is, is quite strong still, as, we, um, as, as it was when we were here in June. Uh, growth is a bit higher. We're, we expect 7.5% this year. Um, and inflation is, is coming down in line with what we expected. Uh, we still feel that uh, the overall monetary stance is appropriate. Credit has been growing rapidly, but again from a, a low base, and we don't see any uh, signs of mounting inflationary pressures. Um, we, we do, however, think that, that uh, as time goes on, uh, the central bank ought to be watching credit growth closely, um, and that, that in the future there may, may be a need to take a bit more active uh, monetary policy stance to bring credit down. Um, the fiscal performance to date remains broadly on track, and the, the government's uh, deficit target of 6.8% of GDP for this year is, is still within reach. Um, we're a bit concerned about state, the, the state energy enterprises performance, the CPC and CEB. Um, with the high oil prices and, and the, the dry weather uh, and the um, reduced reliance on hydropower, they're, they're expected to make a loss this year uh, if oil prices stay high and without uh, some policy actions. Um, we, uh, we continue to monitor reserves, the central bank's reserves, of course. Uh, their gross reserves are, are very healthy at, at close to, to, at around in the range of $8 billion. Um, we are a bit concerned about the recent uh, intervention into the foreign exchange market. This was a concern that we raised in June, so, so it's, uh, it's not, not a, a, a new concern. Um, we feel that, that, uh, that this foreign exchange intervention um, uh, is, is not f in line with, with what we expect the fundamentals of the economy to be going forward. It, it could, um, the economy's fundamentals could improve in which case we would have to reevaluate this assessment. Uh, but at present, we feel like uh, uh, we continue to, the, the, to urge the central bank to y avail itself of its policy of, of greater exchange rate flexibility in response to market, market pressures, market forces. Um, and, and of course, uh, since the beginning of the program, this is this has been a, a, a this exchange rate flexibility we think for Sri Lanka is very important to ensure the long run competitiveness of the uh, of the export sector. Uh, so we uh, we are happy to answer your questions. We're, we will return to Washington tomorrow, um, and we will continue the dialogue with the government at the. IMF World Bank annual meetings uh, in late, later in September, September 24th. So uh, I, with that, I guess uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, if I understand, you're, you're asking whether, whether interest rates should be used instead of f exchange rate flexibility, is that? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm either in terms of, uh, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, that, that's one question, but or, or even with the, instead of, uh, yeah, while continuing to defend, that's right, okay. Okay, um, well, we feel that the optimal, we feel that the optimal policy mix would be, at the moment, monetary policy appears to, to, to be in line with, with, with the growing economy. So uh, 
if, if the, the government were to prematurely tighten monetary policy f through, for example, an increase in interest rates, we feel like it would not necessarily slow the economy. And if you're asking whether they should do that instead of allowing some exchange rate flexibility, we think the exchange rate is the right tool to, to uh, deal with the external, uh, with the external market pressures, not, not raise interest rates and tighten monetary policy and bring, slow down the economy prematurely. This is just a clarification. You said that uh, the IMF would reevaluate the standby agreement uh, with Sri Lanka, is it? Um, what would the next step be uh, in terms of, I mean, okay, if the, you know, how, how, would the, how would you arrive at the decision? And if it is a case of, okay, no, we're going to wind up the program here, uh -huh. what would the next step be then? You mean after this standby agreement expires in, in, in May, or, or you're talking about uh, on this mission? On after this, uh, well, yeah, I mean, is, is you, well, I mean, I may have misunderstood this, but I thought I heard you say that it would be, you would go back to Washington and reevaluate. We will go back to Washington and monitor developments. We, we have no intention of reevaluating the whole program structure. It's, it's merely, an, I, I misspoke, I guess, when I said reevaluate. We would, we, we, we will return to the, the, the dialogue, we'll continue the dialogue uh, in, in two weeks time when the authorities come to Washington for the annual IMF World Bank meetings. So I didn't mean to apply that there would be any reevaluation in the program. And uh, you will continue this uh, program until it's natural end. Yeah, I mean, the, the, as long as the authorities uh, uh, wish to continue with the program, then then yes. And uh, the program expires formally expires in, in May. Uh, you said we have to watch the rapid cre uh, uh, credit growth in order to prevent future inflationary pressure. So, um, in, uh, but you said uh, an interest rate hike is not needed. So how, how, how do you suggest that we slow credit growth by administrative measures or what? Um, what, 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 what this means is that at, at the moment, until now, there has, there's no sign of inflationary pressures, and therefore we would, we would say that there's no, uh, there's no need to tighten at this very moment. However, credit, naturally credit is growing, continues to grow, and, and we're, we're issuing a, a, a cautionary note that, that uh, over the next several months, the central bank would want to uh, monitor that credit growth and to, to see if some action may be needed uh, in, in, in a few months' time. Um, well, we, developments to date are in line with, uh, with the budget, um, and uh, it, it the government set out for itself an ambitious budget deficit target, so, it's, so it will require some effort, but there's no indication at this point to suggest that, uh, that this target will be missed. And the government itself has not suggested that, uh, that we re-examine the 2011 target.